So diabetes is a condition when the body is unable to properly use or and store sugar uh, and this will result in blood sugar level rising higher than normal. So the main issue with diabetes is that uh, the body lacks a particular hormone called insulin. So in people with type 1 diabetes, there is absolutely no production of insulin from the pancreas, which is the organ that makes insulin. So uh, these individuals uh, will need a lifelong insulin injection. Type 2 diabetes, which uh, comprise 90% of uh, people with diabetes, uh, is a different problem. So in type 2 diabetes, there is uh, insufficient production of uh, insulin from the pancreas. And this is coupled with uh, the fact that the body is unable to uh, use insulin properly due to insulin resistance. So type 2 diabetes usually uh, occurs in uh, people who are over 40 years of age, who are overweight or obese, and uh, who have a family history of diabetes. There is a third type of diabetes which is called gestational diabetes. Uh, gestational diabetes occurs in women who are pregnant and uh, the high blood sugar level usually uh, manifests itself uh, in the second or third trimester of pregnancy. Risk factors for women uh, to develop gestational diabetes include uh, age more than 30 years old uh, and having a family history of diabetes. But having gestational diabetes would uh, increase the risk of the woman eventually developing type 2 diabetes uh, in the years after the pregnancy. So the symptoms of an individual having high blood sugar level includes increased thirst and urination, the individual feeling more tired or more fatigued than usual, having a blurred vision, having unexplained weight loss, more frequent infections, and also slow healing uh, sores and cuts. Patients with uh, type 2 diabetes uh, can have no symptoms at all. And uh, in fact, uh, for many patients with type 2 diabetes, the symptoms come on gradually. Individuals with type 2 diabetes may have the diabetes for many years uh, before they come to uh, know that they have diabetes. So diabetes is uh, diagnosed via a blood test. Yeah, so you can either check the patient's uh, fasting blood glucose level or you can uh, subject the patient to an oral glucose tolerance test and check the blood sugar level after two hours after they have uh, drank a sweet drink or you can also check their HbA1c level which uh, tells us the patient's average blood glucose over a two to three month period. So the treatment of uh, type 2 diabetes is important as uh, high blood sugar level over time can lead to a whole host of uh, complications including heart attack, stroke, blindness, kidney failure, nerve damage and blood vessel damage that may require an amputation as well as uh, impotence in men. So controlling blood sugar level will reduce the risk of uh, development of these complications or slow down the progression of complications. The management of uh, type 2 diabetes includes making changes to an individual's diet, increasing the amount of physical activity or exercise, and taking medications that will help lower blood sugar level. So dietary modification uh, for individuals with type 2 diabetes uh, involves moderating carbohydrate intake as well as uh, reducing fat intake. Increasing the amount of uh, physical activity uh, is important so that uh, blood sugar level uh, will be better controlled and uh, increasing physical activity will also help uh, individuals who are overweight or obese lose weight. And losing weight will also help to improve blood sugar level. So the recommended level of uh, physical activity or exercise uh, for uh, people with type 2 diabetes uh, is 150 minutes per week of uh, moderate intensity exercise such as uh, breeze walking or jogging. So first-line medications uh, for individuals with type 2 diabetes uh, is uh, metformin. Metformin is a drug that helps an individual lower insulin resistance in the body. And metformin is usually started at the diagnosis of uh, type 2 diabetes together with uh, dietary changes and exercise. So if uh, metformin uh, is unable to lower blood sugar level to a satisfactory uh, 
level uh, after three to four months, then a second line medication should be added to improve blood sugar control. So unfortunately, uh, type 2 diabetes is a chronic and progressive uh, condition uh, in which the pancreas ability to produce insulin actually uh, deteriorates as the duration of disease increases. So usually by about 10 years of diabetes, uh, up to about 40% of uh, patients will require insulin injection uh, to help with uh, blood sugar control. So the high blood sugar level in a woman with gestational diabetes uh, usually uh, can be controlled with uh, dietary changes. Sometimes uh, the women may need medications uh, such as insulin to control blood sugar level. But for most women with uh, gestational diabetes, the blood sugar level normalizes after uh, delivery of the baby. So patients with uh, type 2 diabetes uh, should see a doctor every three to four months for checking of their blood sugar control and for adjustment of their medications. Uh, once a year, every patient with diabetes should at least uh, have their eyes checked to screen for any diabetic eye disease. They should also have a urine test to check for any protein leakage into the urine that is due to uh, kidney damage from diabetes.